Title 16, Investigations, Offenses, and Penalties, Section 154, Investigation and Prosecution of Offenses. The Commission may investigate an alleged violation of this code or of a rule, regulation, or order of the Commission. The Commission may publish its findings, orders, opinions, advisories, or information concerning any such violation as may be relevant to the general public or to the parties concerned, subject to the provisions of RA 10173, otherwise known as the Data Privacy Act of 2012 and other pertinent laws. The Commission shall give reasonable notice to and coordinate with the appropriate regulatory agency prior to any such publication involving companies under their regulatory jurisdiction. Section 155, Administration of Votes, Subpoena, of witnesses and documents. The Commission, through its designated officer, may administer oaths and affirmations, issue subpoena and subpoena duces tecum, take testimony in any inquiry or investigation, and may perform other acts necessary to the proceedings or to the investigation. Section 156 Cease and Decease Orders Whenever the Commission has reasonable basis to believe that a person has violated or is about to violate this code, a rule, regulation, or order of the Commission, it may direct such person to deceased from committing the act constituting the violation. The Commission may issue a cease and desist order, ex parte, to enjoin an act or practice which is fraudulent or can be reasonably expected to cause significant, eminent, and irreparable danger or injury to public safety or welfare, the ex parte order shall be valid for a maximum period of 20 days without prejudice to the order being made permanent after due notice and hearing. Thereafter, the Commission may proceed administratively against such person in accordance with Section 158 of this Code and or transmit evidence to the Department of Justice for preliminary investigation or criminal prosecution and or initiate criminal prosecution for any violation of this code, rule, or regulation. Section 157 Contempt Any person who, without justifiable cause, fails or refuses to comply with any lawful order, decision, or subpoena issued by the Commission shall, after due notice and hearing, be held in contempt and fined in an amount not exceeding 30000 when the refusal amounts to clear and open defiance of the Commission's order, decision, or subpoena, the Commission may impose a daily fine of 1000 until the order, decision, or subpoena is complied with. Section 158, Administrative Sanctions. If, after due notice and hearing the Commission finds that any provision of this code, rules, or regulations, or any of the Commission's orders has been violated, the Commission may impose any or all of the following sanctions, taking into consideration the extent of participation, nature, effects, frequency, and seriousness of the violation. A. Imposition of a fine ranging from 5,000 pesos to 2 million pesos and not more than 1,000 pesos for each day of continuing violation, but in no case to exceed 2 million pesos. B. Issuance of a permanent cease and deceased order. D. E, suspension or revocation of the certificate of incorporation. And D. Dissolution of the corporation and forfeiture of its assets under the conditions in Title 14 of this Code. Section 159. Unauthorized use of corporate name penalties. The unauthorized use of a corporate name shall be punished with a fine ranging from 10,000 pesos to 200 pesos. Section 160, Violation of Disqualification, Revision, Penalties. When, despite the knowledge of the existence of a ground for disqualification as provided in Section 26 of this Code, a director, trustee, or officer willfully holds office or willfully conceals such disqualification, such director, trustee, or officer shall be punished with a fine ranging from 10,000 pesos to 200 pesos at the discretion of the court and shall be permanently disqualified from being a director, trustee, or officer of any corporation when the violation of this provision is injurious or detrimental to the public. The penalty shall be a fine ranging from 20,000 pesos to 400,000 pesos. Penalties imposed under this section shall be without prejudice to the Commission's exercise of its contempt powers under Section 157 hereof. 
Section 162, willful certification of incomplete, inaccurate, false, or misleading statements or reports, penalties. Any person who willfully certifies a report required under this code knowing that the same contains incomplete, inaccurate, false, or misleading information or statements shall be punished with a fine ranging from 20,000 pesos to 200,000 pesos when the wrongful certification is injurious or detrimental to the public. The auditor or the responsible person may also be punished with a fine ranging from 40,000 pesos to 400,000 pesos. Section 163, Independent Auditor Collusion Penalties An independent auditor who, in collusion with the corporation's directors or representatives, certifies the corporation's financial statements despite its incompleteness or inaccuracy, its failure to give a fair and accurate presentation of the corporation's condition or despite containing false or misleading statements shall be punished with a fine ranging from 80,000 pesos to 500,000 pesos when the statement or report certified is fraudulent or has the effect of causing injury to the general public the auditor or responsible officer may be punished with a fine ranging from 100,000 pesos to 600,000 pesos. Section 164, Obtaining Corporate Registration Through Fraud Penalties Those responsible for the formation of a corporation through fraud or who assisted directly or indirectly therein shall be punished with a fine ranging from 200,000 pesos to 2 million pesos and the violation of this provision is injurious or detrimental to the public the penalty is a fine ranging from 400,000 pesos to 5 million pesos section 165 fraudulent conduct of business penalties a corporation that conducts its business through fraud shall be punished with a fine ranging from 200,000 pesos to 2 million pesos when the violation of this provision is injurious or detrimental to the public, the penalty is a fine ranging from 400,000 pesos to 5 million pesos. Section 166, Acting as Intermediaries for Graft and Corrupt Practices Penalties. A corporation used for fraud or for committing or concealing graft and corrupt practices as defined under pertinent statutes shall be liable for a fine ranging from 100,000 pesos to 5 million pesos when there is a finding that any of its directors, officers, employees, agents, or representatives are engaged in graft and corrupt practices, the corporation's failure to install a safeguards for the transparent and lawful delivery of services and b policies, code of ethics, and Procedures against graft and corruption shall be prima facie evidence of corporate liability under this section. Section 167, Engaging Intermediaries for Graft and Corrupt Practices Penalties, a corporation that appoints an intermediary who engages in graft and corrupt practices for the corporation's benefit or interest shall be punished with a fine ranging from 100,000 pesos to 1 million pesos. Section 168, Tolerating Graft and Corrupt Practices Penalties A director, trustee, or officer who knowingly fails to sanction, report, or file the appropriate action with proper agencies allows or tolerates the graft and corrupt practices or fraudulent acts committed by a corporation's directors, trustees, officers, or employees shall be punished with a fine ranging from 500,000 pesos to 1 million pesos. Section 169, Retaliation Against Whistleblowers. A whistleblower refers to any person who provides truthful information relating to the commission or possible commission of any offense or violation under this code. Any person who knowingly and with intent to retaliate commits acts detrimental to a whistleblower such as interfering with the lawful employment or livelihood of the whistleblower shall at the discretion of the court be punished with a fine ranging from 100,000 pesos to 1 million pesos. Section 170, Other Violations of the Code, Separate Liability. Violations of any of the other provisions of this code or its amendments not otherwise specifically penalized therein shall be punished by a fine of not less than 10,000 pesos but not more than 1 million pesos. If the violation is committed by a corporation, the same may, after notice and hearing, be dissolved in appropriate proceedings before the commission, provided that such dissolution shall not preclude the institution of appropriate 
action against the director, trustee, or officer of the corporation responsible for said violation. Provided further that nothing in this section shall be construed to repeal the other causes for dissolution of a corporation provided in this code. Liability for any of the foregoing offenses shall be separate from any other administrative, civil, or criminal liability under this code and other laws. Section 171, Liability of Directors, Trustees, Officers, or Other Employees. If the offender is a corporation, the penalty may at the discretion of the court be imposed upon such corporation and or upon its directors, trustees, stockholders, members, officers, or employees responsible for the violation or indispensable to its commission. Section 172, Liability of Aiders and Abettors and other secondary liability, anyone who shall aid, abet, counsel, command, induce, or cause any violation of this code or any regulation, rule, or order of the commission, shall be punished with a fine not exceeding that imposed on the principal offenders at the discretion of the court after taking into account their participation in the offense.